Chapter 3, Performing the Reference Measurement with the HK2 and HK1 Microwave Instrument System from Hara and Carlson. We will now perform a reference measurement on the microwave instrument system using a standard manual as a reference. Turn to page 6 of the manual in order to follow along. Looking to section E, Perform the Reference Measurement, we have some notes. Always remember that the reference measurement must be done before any measurement can take place. So the instrument that you will receive will probably have in the display R and cos and GMBH measure, measure parameter and next. The first thing that we want to do is we want to move to the screen, the menu, where we can perform the reference measurement. That is done by using the scroll key. The scroll key is, is labeled uh, either next or main or back, but in this case it was next. Carry us to the system menu, which we select with the soft key. Once again, we scroll looking for the reference menu. We find the reference menu. Now looking at the reference measurement, we can see that there are several values there. There is an A value, which is the attenuation. That's very important because it, there is a maximum and probably a minimum, depending upon the measurement. The maximum is around 50, 55 dB. Anything above that and there's too much attenuation in the measuring path. The second uh, item in there is PHI, which is short for phase shift. The phase shift in this particular instance is an arbitrary value. It, be 1261 now and the next one be 1262 or it might just be 1000 and the next one 1001. So the first thing to do is after we record the, the, the lot, each set of readings, we record the 33 and the 1261.8. We press the run button. We have to press the run a second time when we see the screen, are you sure? When we find that screen, we press yes. Once you see there has been a change in the display of the, of the reference A and the phi, we record that value. Then we perform it again. We push the run and we say yes. And then we see it's changed a little bit. So the reference measurement has been done again. The reference measurement in this case indicates that the, the system is stable and that's very important. Stability means that the attenuation doesn't change by more than a half, 0.5 and the phase shift doesn't change by more than 10. If either one of those things are happening, the process material is not stable enough to do a reference measurement. Okay, after we have a good uh, reference measurement which is recorded, we press next, and we get here lab value at reference. This is where we put the, the value of the process sample which has been determined by the lab in the system. So, we at the same time we perform the reference measurement, we collect a sample. We take the sample to the lab. When the sample has been analyzed, we put it here. Okay, in this case, we have 10. Let's change it. We'll push it, we'll use the scroll to move it, and we'll make it 20. And then enter, like any computer. And now, the, we're saying to the system, when the reference measurement was done, the, the process material was at a value of 20. Next, adjust reference to measure range. Here is where we either press the set button and we put the 4 to 20 range starting at 50% or if we have entered valid current outputs we can select calc so it says start calculation we press yes okay it says the measuring range is zero this means that there have been no values entered for the 4 to 20 so we always have to press enter right and so in this case we just say that the reference, it shows that the reference is set at 50%, enter, and then back. We go back, then next, main is where you'll see the measure menu, main, measure, now we press the run button, and off we go. As you can see there, the system is, is, is trying to stabilize around 20, and when it has reached its, uh, its stable point, and it, it will not always be exactly the number that you put in. So we, we might have to adjust it and often have to adjust it um, afterwards. But as you can see, this one's going to be very, very good. Very close. The number is stabilizing at 19.9. If 19.9 is the final number, we will show you in the next section how to adjust the offset in order to make it 20.